Dressed like a daydream Hey guys, welcome back to another video Today's video is going to be really exciting because every product I'm going to use is going to be all drugstore I went ahead and did my brows because it takes a little bit more time I'm using Master Pimes Primer from Maybelline This one's the green one but it actually comes out clear so I'm not really sure if it actually cancels out the redness but it actually does make my face really smooth. It, it's a good primer. For my foundation, as usual, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Lumi Cushion. I love how full coverage it is and it makes my skin look super healthy. The parts where it doesn't cover up, like my dark circles and my blemishes, I'm going to use these color correctors. So I'm going to use the yellow concealer from Maybelline and also this one's by Maybelline as well. This is the Better Skin. They have really good coverage and I'm just going to use my dabbing and swiping motions to conceal my imperfections. And go ahead and set your face with whatever powder you have. I'm using my Neutrogena's powder. And I'm going to go in with my Bake Bronzer from Milani. It does have lots of sparkles in it, but once you put it on your face, the sparkles aren't that prominent and it just looks like a matte bronzer. And it's a nice bronzing and a contouring. So I'm just going to put that in my cheeks and my forehead and on my jawline, the usual places. You get the drill. I love how warm tone it is and it really structures my face. Now I'm going to go into my Milani Matte Blush, and this is called Tea Rose, and I love how it gives the perfect hint of blush. For today's eyeshadow, this is the only three colors I will be using. This is the Ipsy and NYX, what do you call it, a palette? A quad? It's not a, it's not a quad, but anyways. So I'm going to push eyeshadow only on the tip of the eyeshadow. This is the key into blending, you guys. You want to put it eyeshadow only on the tip of the brush just so the other bristles around it can help blend. And if you put it all over, then that's when you have like a giant blob on your eyeballs and it looks like you have a panda eye, That's which we all are afraid of and want to avoid it as much as we can. So just, so just putting eyeshadow on the tip, just start blending and put it in the crease and up, when you come to the outer corner, use the sweeping motion just so it gives you a cat eye look with the eyeshadow. Once you've done that, it's a pretty easy step and next we're just going to take a creamy black eyeliner. We're just going to put this all over our eyelids and I'm just going to do this because it's going to intensify the black. And then right over that, just so it doesn't crease or move or do anything, I'm going to put a black eyeshadow on top of it. I'm just packing it on with a flat brush. And going back with the fluffy brush I used in my crease, I'm just going to blend the brown and the black together. And if you want a more seamless um, edge between the black and the brown, make sure you take a black eyeshadow and a little bit of dark brown eyeshadow to blend those two colors in. And this is what you should have. On the lower lash line, I'm going to press in a black eyeshadow really tightly against my lower lash line. Also lining my lower lash line with the black gel liner that I used on the main lids. And we're just going to smoke that out this easy. Just swipe and seep it in a couple of times and it should give you a really hazy and smoky lower lash line. And this is, I think, is extremely sexy and just really nighttime appropriate. You guys know this drill. You guys you know how much I love this NYX crystal liner. It just gives me the hint, like the intense glitter. And, and I just want to intensify even more. So I'm going to take this Milani matte white eyeshadow and place it on top. And it gives me the really intense highlight inner corner. I just think it's gorgeous. As usual, this is my favorite mascara. This is a Telescope from L'Oreal. I'm just going to put that in my lower lash line, upper lash line. I have Asian lashes, so I'm just going to use fake lashes. You get, you guys get it. For a highlight, I'm going to use Physicians Formulas Highlight. I just think it's super gorgeous. I think this is like called Pearl. I'm going to take my M501 brush as well, and I'm just going to put that on my cheeks. I'm going to go pretty heavy because this is a pretty glamorous look. I want everything to be balanced. I'm just going to put it on my nose and my cupid's bow as well. And putting it on the cupid's bow helps your lips look plumper. For lips, I'm going to use my Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. And I'm just going to, this is like a color that's like pretty close to your natural lip color, but like better type. But I will do say that this is not Ultra HD or nor matte, so that I don't know where they got the name. But this is, I like the consistency of it and it does look really nice on it. So. Just make sure when you buy it, don't expect to be Ultra HD or matte. And I just want my lips 
To have a little bit more dimensions, I'm going to use this co lighter color that's from ColourPop. I'm just going to put that in the center and you just press your lips together and l let them blend in. And that's all. That was easy breezy, right? We are done! Yay!